Okay, in this lesson we are going to start thinking about actually formally representing these numbers and really formally recording these additions calculations, these addition sentences. And we're really going to start to use the numbers now and the symbols. So the symbols we really want to introduce in this lesson are the symbols of addition and the symbols of equals. And we really want to use those and get the children to use numbers to record these. But we're going to again start very, very simply and we're going to start very, very basically with just very visual representations, things that we've actually used in previous lessons where we've actually looked at drawing visual representations to show a number sentence or to demonstrate a calculation. This time we're actually going to write the numbers that match this visual stimulus. So Aaron, what I'm going to ask you to do this time is I'm going to ask you to make me a number sentence using these little pictures, okay? Do you think okay. you can do that? So you're going to write the number below it for me. So what? how many little socks do you have here? Four. Okay, so can you write the number four, please? Here, anywhere. Anywhere on the line, yes. Okay, four. and you're adding, or your plus sign is already in there, and how many are you adding on? One. Okay. And what is your answer? I know this. Okay, what is it? Five. Good job. Okay, so can you read your calculation for me? Four plus one equals five. Okay, good job. Now, and again, you can see that he's actually recorded this using his numbers. And we'll move down and we'll look at the second calculation. Okay, Aaron, so have we look at the second calculation? How many do you have? Seven. Okay, so what number is going to go on to this line? Seven. Okay. How do you go? Seven. Have you forgotten? Yeah. Okay, remember? Across. Oh, yeah. And down at an angle. Good job. Brilliant. Seven plus one equals eight. Good job. And again, reinforcing constantly actually asking them to repeat that number sentence to actually use that vocabulary. What does equals mean, Aaron, do you think? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Do you think it means the same as makes? Seven plus one makes eight? Yeah. Yeah. And what does plus mean? Does it mean more or less more. or bigger or smaller? Bigger and more. Bigger and more, good. So again, constantly reinforcing that vocabulary and actually encouraging your child to use it and to show that good understanding. So then once you feel that your child has got that grasp on that visual and that matching, you might want to actually start giving your child objects to help them record that so they don't actually have the visual in front of them. They're going to create their own visual. So this time, Aaron, I want you to create a number sentence for me using cubes, okay? Okay. And I'm going to give you a whiteboard because you're going to be able to write the numbers up after when you finished okay so could you make the number sentence of two plus one for me using yeah. cubes two plus one equals eight two plus one equals eight okay so you going to have someone's help with that lid? Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Lovely. Plus. One. Equ equals. Mm, what are you going to do now? Oh, we're going to get some more cubes. to use a different colour. What colour are you going to use? Blue. Why are you using a different colour? Because there's no more of the, the green. light green. Ah, okay. So again, encouraging your child as well to really use those symbols and that focus on those symbols and then focus on those tools as well. So and um, as you can see, Aaron's starting to join those two numbers together to make that number three. Okay, oh, lovely. Okay. Oh my goodness, you've got lots of decisions to make. Okay, lovely. Now, do you think you could write that using numbers below? 
Yeah. Okay, off you go. So again, then taking that, that one step further, actually pushing your child to then use their little representation, their visual representation, to then use those symbols, mm-hmm. those numbers. Do I have to do plus? Of course, yes, because that's you're telling people what you're doing, isn't it? Plus one equals three. Lovely. So again, what a, just really to reinforce that, actually using those visual ideas, those objects to then record that number sentence. Now, once you feel that the child, you feel have got a good grasp on that, you might want to take it again a step further. And this time you might want to introduce that number line. So they're actually starting to record their calculations at the point of jumping, making one jump or adding one more. Um, you will, won't be um, as as difficult as when they start to add more numbers but again you want to use that number line at the very first stages so that they do get used to doing the jumps and do get used to actually using it as a tool okay so Aaron, now this time i'm going to give you a calculation and this time i'm going to write it on the whiteboard for you and i want you to use your number line to show me how you could work it out okay so I've just drawn four basic number lines from 1 to 10 and I'm going to give Aaron some calculations on his whiteboard and he's going to use this number line to actually complete that. Okay, Aaron, this is the first one I'm going to give you. Mm, I'm going to give you 3 plus 1. Okay, Yay! so what number are you going to go to on your number line? Okay, I'm starting on 3, okay. jump 4. I mean... Three, jump, four. Okay, off you go. Let me see you doing it. Go on to three and three. do one jump. One. Four. Okay, and what number have you landed on? Four. So what is your answer for here? Four. Okay, mummy will write it because you don't want to write on that with that pen. Okay, yep. lovely. Right, now I'm going to give you another one. This yep. one's a little bit more difficult, okay? Yeah. This one is eight plus one. So have a look at your qu- your question first. Yeah. Have a look. Okay, what number are you going to start on? On eight. Yes, and what are you going to do? Hop on to nine. And what's your answer? Nine. Nine. So again, now we're starting to think of that idea of using a tool to actually calculate um, those more trickier number sentences. So now what we want to do is we want to actually start just to, to take away all tools and really want to think about numbers solely on their own. And in order to do this, something like magnetic numbers, which are really cheap to buy and actually children have really loads of fun with them. So Aaron, this time, I'm not going to tell you what to write. I want you to make me a one more number sentence, okay? And I'm going to ask you to do it this time with magnetic numbers. So do you think you could make me a something plus one number sentence? Yeah. Let's see what you can do. Mm. Okay. A six, okay. No, I'm just going to turn it around. Well, it's a six, so let's have it as a six. Okay, six, Um, right. Get your symbol. What comes next? Plus. Plus or add, yes. One. Yes. Equals. Mm, What does six plus one equal? Excellent, beautiful, and it's a lovely number sentence. So again, that physical of actually putting that number sentence together, putting those symbols in the right place and actually saying them as you go through to create that number sentence. And then if you really want to, the child can actually then copy that down on a whiteboard or onto a piece of paper and actually start to use that. Um, Again, what we want to think about is we might want to use number cards as well, which are also a really easy resource to make and really cheap. And all you need is number cards and your symbols and they can actually set them down and make it just like magnetic numbers, but just another alternative and maybe easier to bring along with you if you want to take them out for a day and play a little game with them. And then last but not least, I think what we want to really focus on is moving from all of that, the magnetic numbers and the visual representations and the number lines, to actually then recording just by themselves. So Aaron, 
on your number on your whiteboard and whiteboards are a perfect resource for this sort of recording this early recording because if mistakes are made they can just be rubbed out it's great for practicing that number formation and it's great for just repeating those um, little calculations so in this time I'm going to ask you to do and adding one more number sentence all by yourself and I'm just going to get you to write it down no cubes no visual representations just write down some numbers and tell me what you've written and again give okay. your child ownership give them responsibility not and actually, too hard and well, not too easy not too hard not too easy okay that sounds like a good idea right off you go what do you think is just keep it below 10 for now so a number below 10 and a number more than one. A number more than one. Good idea. So getting that vocabulary as well, that more than. Okay, quickly, okay. choose one. I mean zero. A number more than zero, yes. Okay. You can have one. You can have one, yes. Right, can we do it very quickly? Okay. Right, off you go. Write your numbers then. What number are you going to start with? Eight. Okay. Write one. Okay. We can can we have ten? Eight plus one. Just write down your eight can plus I one. Can we have ten? Okay. I mean nine plus one. Okay. Decisions, decisions, Aaron, yes? Yes. Nine. Nine. Plus. Ooh, just the hands of the plus a little bit long. Okay. One. Weekos ten. Beautiful. And there we see we get that actual recording using numbers, using symbols and actually understanding what it actually means because you've done all of that background work, you've done the use of the tools and the, the counting of the cubes and the use of the magnetic letters and that means the children have a really do do get a really basic a really strong foundation and they start to understand what that num what those numbers and what those symbols actually really do mean.